course one 2022 batch a cadets of the nigerian leisure corps of commissioners who have gone through rigorous training in practical including realistic life operation and theory based to keep them fully engaged and acclimatized to the fast-faced reality of life as a close protection personnel the corps of commissioners who in their unarmed displays showcased their readiness to protect and defend the sovereignty and territorial integrity of not only Niger State but the country in general, as such, ready to be employed into all state parastatters as well as work with other security agencies. The Corps of Commissioners, even though a federal government project established in 1962, has continued to be a rallying point for ex servicemen, young men and women in securing the lives and property of the people, as well as provide employment to widows, dependents, and children of the fallen heroes. Governor Bukasani Bello, represented by his deputy, Ahmed Mohamed Keto, who said the increased security challenges in the state in recent times has made government to prioritize security by taking a number of measures to support security agencies, added that the Nigerian Legion Corps of Commissioners will receive similar support to enable them join forces with other security outfits to protect lives and property. Excellency, the governor of Niger so uh, made up his mind to give all the necessary support to make sure they are effective and also to carry out their primary assignment. And by that, I think our state will be more secured. National Chairman and Commandant General of the Nigerian Legion Corps of Commissioners, Major General Jibril, said the Corps are expected to provide effective platform in surveillance of critical infrastructure, information and intelligence gathering. Uh, this graduation marks an addition into the security apparatus, security architecture of the state in particular. It's an addition to the effort the state government is making to ensure that the insecurity challenges that is bedeviling the state is reduced drastically. These young men and women are a ready tool to be used by the state government in collaboration with other security agencies towards curbing uh, those uh, challenges. State Commandant of the Corps, Ambassador Peter Raymond said the Corps of Commissioners is expected to set new high standards in the private security industry, even as it has strived to create the most realistic and professional close protection training experience and appealed for the deployment of the cadets in all state parastatals. The personal parade, which featured the decoration of newly promoted officers and honorary members in the Ministry of Women Affairs, also empowered widows of the falling heroes. Imina, Messi, Fabi, and